Hello campers and welcome to the front shop at Redmayne. Very short video, as if I can ever make short videos. The Redmayne suit copying service, which has ran since 1933, um, is very successful and much liked, and for good reason. There's a couple of coats here. One is a sample and one is a Redmayne version of it, and they're about to get shipped off to the Midwest. So I thought we'd take the opportunity to just point out some of the details that make the suit copying service so popular. The suit copying service has had that title, as I said, from the 30s. It's not actually the right title, but I wasn't the marketing man then, and I'm sure as heck not one now, because we don't copy it, okay? This chap, charming fellow, said, this is a coat that I really like wearing. And it fits me pretty well, and um, everything about it is, is pretty good. But I'd like a red main one, okay? Which is very kind of him. So let's just have a look at his sample, and then we'll have a look at our version of it. And, and, and this is what I, I need you to, this is what the whole purpose of the video really. We are not soup copiers. This is a tool for us to give you something that we feel is very special. Um, so, how does it work? This coat from this chap, it's very nice. It's an Italian make. It's made by um, Rida Milano, 1865. So new kids on the block. We were there, 1860. Um, <clears throat> it does look Italian. It's got canvas in it right through. So that's, that's, a, that's a big thumbs up. It's machine made, um, but it's nice. It's nice and soft. It's very classically styled, two button. Um, straight flaps, kind of what's not to like really, which is a very valid point. The lapels are a little bit narrower than we would do. Um, the most typical Italian thing, or perhaps ready-made thing to me is, is this waist position. This is, this is pretty high. And if you look at it, the, the lapel, which is a little bit narrow, comes down and then kind of ends, and then the coat goes straight. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm not going to complain about this coat. I'm just pointing out features that you may or may not have seen. So, narrow lapel, comes in, rolls, seems to end, goes straight down. Classic straight flaps, quite narrow flaps, okay? Or you could say delicate, if you prefer that terminology. It's all machined. Um, this is, it's got a lapel thing. I can't say a lapel hole because it doesn't have a hole in it. So it's not a hole. Um, it's straightforwardly lined bees and jets, which I think is is nice and uncomplicated. Um, cuffs are a bit unusual. There's The buttons are just sewn on. So it makes it really easy to alter. I'll give it that. Um, but there you have it. It's a nice coat. And as I say, we're not here to criticise and um and i can fully understand why this gentleman has enjoyed wearing it because it is it's nicely soft to canvas and such like now then next to it we have a red main version of which we've used this is a tool for the suit copy and service uh, i almost don't like to hear the sound of my voice because really i hope you can see the difference it's effectively the same measurements I think we made this a little bit narrower after discussions with the client, okay? So the, there are visual measurement differences, very small, but the main difference is the style. One is Redmayne, English tailoring. One is the house of Milano or whatever, um, Italian tailoring. Now, how does the suit copying work? Okay, it's all on our website, but sometimes straight talking makes it easier. You get in touch with Redmayne and you say, look, I have this nice Italian coat or any coat, American coat or suit or trousers. It fits me pretty well, but I'd like to have something from Redmayne. And when we get over your kindness of coming to us, we arrange to show you cloth samples and we do that electronically first of all. So we send you links and you, you say, I like these. And then you get the physical cloth samples, which allows you to feel them and look at them. When you say, yes, I would like this cloth, we then send you a very simple form. And that form 
asks a few very simple questions, asks for four or five photographs of you wearing the sample coat and without wearing the coat because we want to see you. Then you return it to us and we start the process. And what we do is we send you uh, customs forms if you're abroad or you know here in the UK and um, we collect the sample garment from you. It comes to the workshop here, then we crawl all over it with our measuring tools and devices and we learn everything we can about this coat. Then we arrange a FaceTime consultation with you, ideally FaceTime, it's nice to talk, we bring you in here. We look at the image, we look at the coats, we look at the evidence, we look at the whole thing, we listen to you and we give you advice. Just like you were here, we speak to you, we say, look, this is nice, but this is what we feel we should do. And that's exactly what happened with this gentleman. We spoke to him, we scheduled it, and we had a chat out on the prairies with him. And um, we went ahead and produced his red main version. So let's have a quick look at that. Um, it is a typical red main coat. So for starters, it's a three button roll to two. It's got slanted flaps and it's got the ticket pocket. Okay, so that doesn't make this better than that. That's that's a style thing. Okay, have any style you want. But let's just look at the differences in appearance. Bearing in mind these are much the same size, okay, and for the same individual. Look at the height of the waist button and the height of this waist button, or rather the <laughs> how low ours is in comparison to that one. These these are roughly the same height, but I'm sure you can see that. Our lapel is wider and the collar, it rolls to there and it, to my mind, it keeps rolling. It's a roll all the way through and back, all the way through and back. Whereas this is roll, end, straight down. Little details, our flaps are deeper like the bespoke. Who would notice that? Very few people, very few people would notice it. We notice it, it makes the garment look richer. Um, Ours, this is a, what we call an 1860, so it's not finished by hand, so it's machine as well as. Um, but our lapel holes is a, is a lapel hole, and it has a flower loop, and it actually works. We don't just sew the cuffs on. It has two real and two sham, just like our bespoke, just like everything else. As you can see, there's a bit more in the chest. The suppression is lower down. The cutaway is different. It does have a softer shoulder, which you might be able to see on a mannequin, you might not. Um, it's very much a red main coat. Again, not fancy inside. The only label we have is inside with the chap's name on. Um, we rather think you can identify the clothing by the look. And is there anything else to say? The both side vents. Um, there you have it. It's this is a nice coat there's nothing wrong with it i'm not here to put this coat down there's nothing wrong with it um, you know it may have cost more than ours may have cost less than ours i don't know um, the main thing is to say look we don't copy samples we use it as a tool and if you give us something like that you're going to end up with something like that if we have our way there are occasions when people will say well i really want it exactly the same and if it kind of meets with our criteria, we'll say, okay. Um, but most people don't come to us for that. They want a red main coat and they want this English style. So there you have it. I don't think I can say any more. Proof's in the pudding, as they say. You can have a look. Let's hope the guy enjoys wearing it. One thing that you can't see is our armholes are quite a lot shallower, so they're higher. Um, and I know that because I always like to try everything on before it goes out. Um, it's a beautiful coat. I can't remember the cloth, quite frankly. Um, it's really nice. And there you have it. I hope you've learned something. It's you can't always make big differences in products. It's the little details that give you a different look and a different feel. So there you have it. Thanks for dropping in. Follow us, like us, do what you need to do. I don't understand it all, I haven't got the time. But um, cheers, God bless, and au revoir.